And it's not just the Lions, it's all NFC teams. And we'll see how accurate this is. This is per 33rd team. And one of them, and I, I don't want to spoil the Lions one because I don't know if people will be shocked or they'll agree with it. So I, I'll share my thoughts on it. But it also has NFC North teams and, and, and other teams. But before we see it, Sam, who would you assume the X Factor is for the Lions? Who should it be, in your opinion, before <clears throat> I show this, this graphic? I, feel free to comment down below, too. Who's your X Factor? Who needs to play well for the Lions? Besides Jared, I feel like that's the obvious one. Well, let me let me give this caveat, because I already know the answer, but I swear to all of you and to you, Jeff Iafredi, that I did not look at this graphic before I gave my initial answer as I was kind of looking over the prep last night. Mm -hmm. James Houston. And as you will see in just a couple of seconds, look look, look who it is. If I was, none other than James Houston. I, I promise I didn't, I didn't look at it. I didn't cheat. So when I first see this, by the way, and this is the inconsistent part that I'm kind of frustrated with, if, if quarterbacks are involved, there's more teams that deserve their quarterbacks more of an X factor. Like you have Jordan Love for the Packers. We have Darnell Mooney for the Bears. JB, our resident Bears, you, you speak for him, even though you're not a fan for, of the Bears, but you speak for the Bears. Is Darnell Mooney going to make or break the Bears season? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. I don't I, even if know if why they put DJ Moore, maybe I'd agree. Yes, DJ Moore, but Darnell Mooney? Like, who made this? Yeah. <laughs> but to, to, well, you can go on. To kind of defend it, though, DJ Moore is clearly the wide receiver number one. Darnell Mooney is a guy that nobody sees as number one, but he's had a 1,000-yard season before. Yeah, he's not bad, but X Factor. I don't hate it. I think Darnell Mooney is is one of the X factors. I know I'm I'm going against everyone in the room, but Darnell Mooney, if he's that reliable second wide receiver, especially since there are rumblings about one Chase Claypool that we've all heard about, and especially with how terrible he played when he was with the Bears last year, Darnell Mooney, I think that's a pretty appropriate choice. But may, maybe that's just me. And also, you have uh, and you can throw that list back up, Alex. And, and guys, feel free to chime in. It, James Houston is he the X factor? If not, who is it? Uh, but here you have Jordan Love. We'll go through the NFC North teams. We'll stick there before we get to the NFL. So you have Darnell Mooney for the Bears. I hate that. It should be Fields. Like, that's the obvious one. If Fields plays really well, then the Bears have a good season. If he plays like trash, they don't. So that's an X factor to me. I don't think Darnell Mooney's production is going to make or break. Again, they play a, a ball-dependent position. If Darnell doesn't play well, who's throwing him the football? It's Justin Fields. So, like, mm. by that by that metric, it's not Mooney. James Houston, though, for the Lions. Actually, we'll save him for last because we'll actually have a discussion about him. Jordan Love for the Packers. Fair, I would say. Yeah, it's got to be on Jordan Love. Nobody knows if he's good or not, so okay. that's fair. Fair. And then for the you Vikings. You are trash! I, I love this. Uh, is Ezra is how you pronounce his name. Ezra, Ezra, Cleveland, who's the guard for the Vikings. And Ingram, who... Uh, what? That's the X Factor for the Vikings. <sighs> Yeah, no. The what? I, Why? I mean, maybe. Who the fuck is that guy? Well, I mean, they to create a good offensive line with Christian Derrishaw still there. I I understand that to some extent, but at the same time, when it comes, I don't. When it comes to the Vikings, it, it's basically the offensive so line. That's yeah. it's it's Ed Ingram and Ezra Cleveland who are who's both on the Vikings offensive line. So that's what they're saying essentially. That